Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hannah and welcome back to Pizza Hannah, October Ween. We're playing some more Disturbed today, I believe. Yes. Um, so we're back, I guess. Okay, we're at the tree. I kind of forgot where we were. Um, so last time we went left to the gate, right? And we talked to the, uh, talked to the dude with the sword. So let's go left again. I think there was some more we could do over here. Um, instead of veering off follow the trail in the grass, go back. Yeah, so instead of following the trail in the grass, which takes us to that dude, let's continue down the path. You walk for some time to find an endless field of grass. There is a stone well near the path. I'm feeling a little, uh, the ring. I feel like that's, uh, probably we're gonna inspect it. Mm, you peer down the well. Other than the evident water at the bottom, there's a coin resting against the wall of the well. If possible, you feel you should go down and take the coin. I'm not gonna take the coin. I'm gonna leave. Right? Perhaps you may obtain the coin later. So should I take the coin? If it's saying that I will come back for it later? Okay, let's take the coin. Um, grab the coin. You lean over the edge of the wall. There's no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it. With this in mind, you turn and climb down along the inner wall of the well. No, I would have just gotten something. Your luck runs out. You uh, tumbling and your body clashes against the stone walls. With a single knock on the head, you lose all consciousness. Oh, sorry. Consciousness of your accident. With a splash, you fall into the water. Your body sinks effortlessly and you drown without realizing it. You're drowned without realizing it. <sighs> cool. Next. I mean, we all knew that was gonna happen. Well, I thought a girl was gonna reach up and grab me, but continue, continue down the path, please. Come on, um, continue on. Oh, Aramor, several times a year, you come here to trade goods from the farm. You discover the plague that has spread to your farm. It's also spread all the way out here. The path before you is overrun with blight. So I probably shouldn't, I feel like that I probably shouldn't try to go. Yeah, there's no way to reach the city because I'm going to die. So go back. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, so, hmm. So the guy with the swords that I needed is something. The ghosty ghost in order to get the sword. So let's go back here. I think I goofed something up. So there's a tree with a hole in it and go to the gate and enter and uh, so like, okay, I looked at the statue on the left, had a one, right? Look at the statue on the right, had a two. So left, right, in the middle there are three sp spikes, I guess. Uh, and I can't enter the tower, so I think that I have to hit, oh, sorry, uh, exit, uh, skip, um, inspect the tree, got a little belly button of the tree, press the knobs, okay, left knob, right knob, middle knob, they lock in place. You wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. So, do I do three, two, one? Middle knob, right knob, left knob? Uh, okay. I'm a little stumped. And I don't think I missed anything behind us. Um, go back to where the path split. I guess go left again, you think? I think there might, maybe there's something I could do at the lake past the ghost. Follow the trail in the grass. So there's a dude, if I inspect the grave, he tells me some stuff. Let's double check this. Anyways, um, continue on. A lake, don't even mess with the lake, okay? Oh, Stonehenge. The faint trail comes to an end. There's a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Um, let's go check out the stone pillars. You stand before the large stones arranged in this sh 
Gaga, I gotta like relearn how to read right now. You stand before the large stones arranged in the shape of a circle. The center is a stone with what appears to be some sort of slot or hole. No doubt about it, something is meant to be placed here. There was an orb at the bottom of the lake. Seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. Um, so maybe I gotta get that orb, but that fish killed me, so I think I have to get the sword first. Uh, explore the field. You find yourself gazing over a grass field with hills rolling off into the distance. A unicorn! As if a trick appeared, a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of a unicorn can help you with your quest, but there's clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. We got charm some unicorns. I there are so many things. This game is like uh alright. I didn't even read what this guy said. Um, shoot, let me read again. Um, okay, you hear the words of the ghost. Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope like a flower found in darkness. So I might need to go way back. Which way do you go? Um, go back. Uh, oh, 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 nope. Go, oh, I can't go back. I cannot go any farther back. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to go left. Go back. Uh, let's go right. Oh, what am I? Oh, because I keep hitting the back button. Sorry, I didn't. For some reason, the last time I played this, I didn't even see that menu down at the bottom. Um, so now it's throwing me way off. Go right, please, young lawyer. Okay, so what are we doing wrong here? So let's go to the gate. Enter. Standing before the tower, your heart begins to sink. This is no doubt the first place. Blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, so inspect the statue on the left. She's got a book. She's pointing up. You leave her alone. That's all you can do. You look to the right. He's got his two little fingers. He's got a bowl. Book, bowl, fountain. Blah. As if you're calling for something. Let's go to the fountain then. Let's go swim in it. Into the tower. It's magic stuff, so I can't do anything there. I must be doing something wrong with the tree. Um, let's see if we can figure that out. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Left. Right. Right. <gasps> I'm an idiot. I was thinking because there are three options that I needed to have each of them done, the middle, the fountain didn't really count as anything. Okay, you hear the rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift underneath you. Everything goes dark and you sink below the surface. The hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. You find yourself with no evident way out, but the path before you into the darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. You see three separate paths within the walls of time. Which path do you choose? <sighs> do I listen to the angels or go left? Cautiously make your way through the darkness. God, another split. Um, go right. You struggle forward as the way becomes completely dark. You notice that there's a light off in the distance and you continue to make your way forward. Oh, eventually you make it into some sort of concrete room. Turning around, you see the hole in the wall where you came from. Your guess is that it wasn't part of the initial design. You turn around to see a door. There being little to nothing in the room, you decide to move through the doorway. Ooh, ooh. You find yourself in what looks like a basement. You turn about to discover that in each direction there is a door. Boxes of supplies and debris litter the floor and corners of the room. You notice that there are several markings on the doors and the floor and I hit enter too fast. But I think it probably says something about the supplies, maybe? Um, oh my gosh, there are so many choices. Let's inspect the supplies. Supplies. You walk about the room, browsing through the dust-covered storage. You find some rope in one of the boxes that feels strong enough, stronger to touch, and as minimal wear, you decide to take the rope. Ooh. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. All right. I think that this might be a good... No, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, I feel like I didn't cover enough ground. Um, let's go... I mean, I feel like left has been treating us right, and it's the least ominous of these three doors. Um, this looks exactly like the room that I was in. Continue on. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going back now. That isn't... Wait, go, so go left. Uh, and then go right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you. So, so the left door was the way I came in, but there was also an option. Oh, enter the door behind. Oh, okay, so left is where I came from. Let's enter the door behind me then. Ooh, you walk up the steps. You enter a large room. The air is polluted with dust and spider web cover the walls and ceiling. Spider webs. Where should you go now? Ooh, downstairs, upstairs, the far door, go outside. I guess outside means back behind me. Let's go to the far door. God, there's so many options. The door struggles to move, but you enter into what appears to be at the spider's den. Great, I love spiders. Great. The air is thick and the room is a mess of web and body parts. You notice that there are a couple items in the room that could be useful. If nothing else, there is a key on the ground that you will no doubt need. Hello, sweet baby. Before you can even act, a large spider falls from above. You have no doubt that it is hungry because its fat is huge. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. Ah, uh, yeah, I need that sword. Ugh, I need that sword. Ugh. Oh, oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Did not mean to do that. Oh, shoot, and I didn't save. Um, all right, well, I'll get us back to where we were um, next time. Sorry about that. And I will save more frequently. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment if you want me to like take a specific direction. Um, subscribe for more October Ween goodness and wet haired awesomeness. And um, let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.